also known as the supercat due to their hunting prowess and ability to adapt to many habitat types. Leopards have the largest geographical range of any other big cat. It's likely that their adaptability lends itself to their large range. Leopards can live just about anywhere with enough food and shelter. They don't even need a constant source of water, as they get most of their water from their food. These big cats call large parts of both Africa and Asia home. Their habitats include mountains, savannas, woodlands, swamps, rainforests, and semi-desert regions. Leopards prefer to have trees available as they spend a large part of their lives suspended above the ground in sturdy tree limbs. These large cats rest in trees as this keeps them away from potential predators. It may seem hard to believe, but leopards are some of the smallest of the big cats, a group which includes lions, tigers, and snow leopards, who aren't the same thing as leopards, by the way. They're a different species. Leopards stand about 18 to 32 inches at the shoulder, and weigh between 55 and 200 pounds. Males are generally twice the size of females, but subspecies and location can influence their size as well. There are currently nine accepted subspecies of leopards. As a whole, the leopard species is believed to be one of the most stable of all the big cats. However, some subspecies are critically endangered, with fewer than 100 individuals alive in the wild. Apart from humans who hunt leopards for their skin, claws, and fur, and persecute the cats for livestock damage, leopards are predated by lions, tigers, hyenas, and African wild dogs. Each of these predators may take leopard cubs, but they are also capable of taking down adult leopards if they gain advantage. Luckily for leopards, their coats are spotted, which helps camouflage them both from predators and prey. Leopards are stalking predators, and hunt their prey down until they're within 10 to 33 feet, and then pounce, aiming to bite at the animal's neck and cause paralysis with a quick snap. While they can reach speeds in short bursts up to 37 miles per hour, leopards typically don't chase prey if the first pounce is unsuccessful. Prey to leopards include a variety of animals, such as rodents, reptiles, amphibians, baboons, fish, large birds, and hoofed animals who may reach more than double the leopard in size. What's amazing is these big cats are able to haul their kills up a tree, even those that are larger than they are. Leopards bring their food up trees so scavengers aren't able to reach them, and they can eat in peace. Leopards are solitary except when breeding and raising young. Males and females will have multiple partners, and will tolerate members of the opposite sex in their home ranges. A female entices a male with pheromone-scented urine. When he arrives, she'll rub against him and smack him with her tail to let him know she's ready to mate. They'll mate multiple times over the course of a few days, and spend those days sharing food resources. Afterwards, he'll leave and the female will gestate for about 95 days. Her cubs are born in a den and kept hidden while she cares for them. She'll move them between dens frequently, not unlike cheetah moms. The cubs can walk at two weeks, begin taking solid food at two months, and are independent by 20 months though they often stay close to their mother's home range long after this, and may even remain in contact with each other as they grow. Leopards begin breeding at about two to three years of age, and only live about ten years in the wild, though they more than double that age in zoos. For more facts on leopards, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Airplane Collectibles, Loyen, Dan, and Zenodyne for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching, Animal Fact Files.